fight! What's going on guys? It's Blue Deep Dive here, and welcome to another tournament. We got Aeon against Tough Gun. This should be an interesting match. Ermac against Raiden. Let's see who comes out on top. You wield great power. Bestow by Shao Kahn. My power is greater still. Round one, fight. And the match has begun. Very nice first hit from Aeon. I'm very interested to see how uh, both these players do. Before the match, I'll invite the players to a uh, private King of the Hill. And whoever joins first gets to practice on me before their match. And Aeon was doing some very crazy combos. And I've actually uh, seen Tough Gun's combo video. If you guys don't know, he has a YouTube channel, so go ahead and check him out too. And Aeon is definitely going crazy right now in the corner. That variation with the Ermac where he has three souls. Man, that is so vicious. I've seen players online, I've fought players online with Ermac. That variation seems to be the best. I don't know, it's just my opinion. It's very interesting to see Tough Gun picking the Displacer variation. It's arguable which variation is best with Raiden. I like to use the Thunder God. I've tried all the variation. Displacer seems to be a very good variation as well. But uh, you have to know how to use that teleport. So let's see if Tough Gun knows any of these combos. Because if you can enhance the teleport, you can keep resetting your combos. The only drawback is, you use so much meter, you gotta really capitalize on that combo. That's the only drawback, but pretty dang good variation. I am so excited guys. The tournament where all the champions come together in one tournament is going to be crazy. That's always my favorite tournament. I've done tournaments for other games. In the champion tournament, there's always crazy comebacks, crazy outcomes. So definitely expect that in the near future. Oh, and very nice way to end the match. Tough Gun gets the first match. You need best 2 out of 3 to advance. So let's see what happens in the second match. Raiden wins. Fatality. Raiden. Welcome back guys. Tough Gun Raiden. came out on top, but let's see what happens in the second match. Raiden. You think yourself a god? And what are you but a plague? We are your end. Round one, fight. And Aeon again with that first hit. He's always so clutch in the beginning of the match. That neutral square punch with Raiden is so good. But out of all the characters, Ferator has the best neutral square punch. It's like half screen. So is Kung Jin. So definitely, if you want some reach in the air, pick Ferator. I haven't run into a good Ferator yet. I'm really hoping to see one in one of my tournaments. Oh, that also reminds me guys, that uh, a lot of you guys message me on PS4. And for some reason, when you get too many messages, it just doesn't let you read them. So, if I didn't respond to you, definitely keep sending me a message. It's better to contact me before Sunday, because I just get swamped with messages from you guys, and I can't read them all. They gotta fix that with the PS4. I don't know what's going on. But if I get more than something like 20 messages, then it just doesn't let me read them. But let's go back to the match. And Tough Gun. Doing some good combos with Raiden right now. Oh, and ends the match with Brutality. Very nice way to end the match. And with that Brutality, Tough Gun is advancing in the tournament.
Welcome back, guys. We got Jordan Metz against DJ Sponge. This should be a good match. DJ rocking that hotshot costume. So you know he got some skills there. I'm not sure what Jordan Metz can do in that Tempest variation. But we're about to find out. I'm not sure what Jordan can do in that Tempest variation. But we're about to find out. You doing here, Lal? I wish to test your stamina. We'll ring the bell, son. Round one. Fight. And the match has begun. Who's gonna get that first hit? And there it is. One thing that I've noticed in MKX is if two people hit each other at the same time in the beginning, nobody gets the first hit. I really like that because in MK9, somehow somebody's gonna get meter. It's pretty inconsistent. So I'm pretty glad that they fixed that in MKX. Ooh, DJ got the corner game going on. I really want to see a... Oh, no. I was about to say, I really want to see a Blanche Brutality. Oh, random X-Ray. And that random X-Ray is going to get Jordan the round. But yeah, I really want to see somebody do the Blanche Brutality. I know that's asking for a lot, but uh... I know when you're in a tournament, you just want to win. Whatever it takes. But uh, hopefully someday, somebody gets that Blanche Brutality. Me and one of my friends were joking, can you imagine if someone gets a Quitality in my tournament? Oh, that'd be legendary. <laughs> that'd be so freaking hard to get. Nobody's going to quit in my tournament. I don't care how bad you are. So that'd be like extremely, extremely embarrassing. But I hope you guys have been enjoying the tournament. Takes a lot of time to put these together. And right now, it's a pretty close match. Jordan's so close from getting this round and securing his first match victory. Ooh, very smart DJ. Throw those fireballs from across the map. I'm surprised Jordan didn't teleport. There we go, a little too late. DJ is just taking control of this match. So far, I've noticed that every time DJ pushes the opponent back, he keeps throwing those fireballs. And that's going to get him the first match. Jordan's going to have to teleport to avoid those projectiles. And I'll see you guys in the second match. Johnny K. Welcome back guys. DJ Sponge up ahead by one match. I wonder what Jordan Metz is going to do differently. It's all up to him. So let's see what happens. Why are you here, Cage? To tell you Zoro's mom wants your hat back. Any hope for mercy is lost. Round one. Fight! Who's going to get that first hit? And again, Jordan Metz. In that first hit once again. There are just some players out there. No matter what you do, they're always going to get that first hit. DJ Sponge doing a good job pushing Jordan Metz away. It's a good strategy. Shadow Kick, Fireball. I mean, whatever is working in a tournament. Oh! Random X-Ray. You know, Kung Lao got a, a really different X-Ray compared to the cast. Kind of similar to Melina. He can uh, keep kicking you. And if you let your block up too early, like DJ just did. Because I'm pretty sure he thought he blocked the X-Ray. I mean, you got to keep holding block. Just like Melina. Melina's going to keep kicking. About three to four kicks, and then the X-Ray's done. And if one of those kicks gets you, the X-Ray's going to catch you off guard. DJ's still doing a really good job. Even with that random X-Ray. Able to capitalize on the round. Going for that second round victory. I'm really glad that we have another Johnny Cage in the tournament. I'm not sure what Jordan Metz is going to do. He keeps getting pushed back. If I were him, I'd go ahead and teleport some more. So that he can't get me with the fireballs. It's going down to the wire. Jordan Metz has a corner game. Oh, not anymore. 
I'm not sure about you guys, but every time I get somebody in the corner, I do my best to keep them there. I mean, a lot of my big combos rely on the corner. Oh, what's gonna happen? Oh, somehow that tip of that hat gets DJ and gets Jordan missed the round. I'm starting to get used to that uppercut, how much damage it does. Before, I was complaining like crazy. I didn't like it. I think Jordan Metz has to block some more. Because every time he's from a distance, he just takes all those fireballs. It's a lot of damage that adds up. DJ Sponge, gotta keep putting that pressure. It's working for him. Keep putting some pressure. Jordan Metz doesn't really know how to respond. It's just going back and forward. Every time DJ gets an inch, you know, these uppercuts come out of nowhere from Jordan. Oh, random x-ray! And this is gonna get him the match. We are going to a match three. And out of nowhere, Jordan Metz with that random x-ray. You know the unpredictable won him that match. We're going to the match three. Unpredictable or not, one of these players is going to advance in the tournament. Why are you here, Cage? To tell you Zoro's mom wants your hat back. Any hope for mercy is lost. Round one, fight. I tell you, every time I see Kung Lao's reactions and his interactions, it just, sometimes it's so lame it's funny. Like that one right there. Any hope for mercy is lost. <laughs> one thing that I've noticed in the interactions is that when you're wearing Revenant, when you're wearing that Revenant costume, the, the voice is kind of deeper, it's kind of echoey, you know? Right now, Jordan Metz, every time he's in trouble, that uppercut comes out of nowhere, gets him back in this match. Oh, that wasn't wise. Every character has an x-ray combo. Oh, and there's one right there from DJ Sponge and Overhead. Gotta watch out for that when you're facing Johnny Cages out there. Thank you and good night. Round two, fight. Right now, DJ is one round away from advancing in the tournament. For all you new guys who are watching my tournament for the first time, to advance in the tournament, you have to win best two out of three, and you have to stay as the same character throughout the whole tournament. You can change your variation, though. Ooh, DJ got him in the corner. What's gonna happen? Oh, nice, nice, nice. Jordan Metz doing good mix-ups. Getting that uppercut teleporting. Pretty much working in his favor, but DJ Sponge. He's got a full x-ray meter. Uh-oh. And that red shadow kick is gonna do it. DJ Sponge advances in the tournament. Welcome back guys, we got King Gambler against Kid Polo, finally a Jax in my tournament. Let's see how this Ermac Jack matchup goes. Round one, fight. And right to the match, no introductions, nothing, right to business, and Kid Polo gets that first hit. I'm really curious to see what Kid Polo is going to do with the heavy weapons variation. King Gambler has been in some of my past tournaments. In Mortal Kombat, he's been using uh, Aaron Black. 
So I'm really surprised that he went with Ermac. Right now, Kid Polo's got the advantage. One thing you can do against uh, Ermax is the pressure. You can throw projectiles from far away because he can just teleport. Much like Scorpion and Quan Chi. And Kid Polo gets that first round. Just King Gambler can't handle the pressure. You might have to use some bars of meter to push him back. Every time someone's pressuring me and I can't guess right, I always do a enhanced meter move just to push them away. I found that that's the best way for me to uh, get people away who pressure a lot. Right now it's a close match. Oh, a little bit of lag going on. Oh, random x-ray. Who do you guys want to win? Put in the comments below. Right now, Kid Polo is just doing business. Can't be stopped. All in a day's work. Jax wins. Jax. Kid Polo heavy with the pressure. Earns him one match victory. I'm pretty curious what King Gambler is going to do. This should be an interesting match. Here we go. Who's getting that first hit? King Gambler, this time with the first hit. When you're facing pretty good players, that first hit really matters. It gives you an opportunity to waste that meter, do something risky, or just go in there. Go in there, put some pressure, try to get that combo. And if you fail, you can already uh, break the combo since you have two bars of meter. Oh, King Gambler, getting Kid Polo in the corner. Kid Polo is very lucky that he can just use that stage interaction to get out of there. I love picking the marketplace. Try to get the opponent to the left side of the screen. They can't do the, the escape with the interaction. But if you're facing somebody like Tanya, Ermac, Scorpion, forget it. Freaking teleport gets him out of the corner. Gets me so frustrated. Because I like all my corner combos. Right now, Kid Polo looks like he's in trouble. King Gambler seems to be reading Kid Polo. Oh, very nice combo. He dropped it at the very end. Seems like he could have added an uppercut or another special move. I haven't seen very many jacks. I've only seen the, the craziest combo I've ever seen. I was oh, very nice x-ray. And that's gonna do it. I was saying the craziest combo I've ever seen with jacks is on that MKX stream when Tyler Lansdowne did that grab move like eight times. That was crazy. I hope I see one of those combos in the future with Jax. Jax wins. Welcome back, guys. We got Nick against Itachi Legend. Sonya against Kung Lao. Correct me if I'm wrong, I believe this is the first Sonya in my tournament. This should be very interesting. Round one, fight! And let it begin. One thing that I've noticed is uh, three characters have the same special move. Believe it or not. Oh, nice counter from Itachi. You got Kung Jin, Kung Lao, and Sonya having the dive kick. Oh shoot! Itachi going crazy in the corner. Very nice way to get out of that corner from Nick. One thing that I've noticed from Kung Lao is, is if they have a bar of meter, that if you rush them, they'll do the enhanced spin like almost all the time. So hopefully Nick doesn't do that because Itachi got some crazy combos. He keeps punishing anything. And 
And Itachi gets that first round. Round two, fight. Nick has to watch out for that dive kick. That dive kick definitely starts out a lot of combos for Itachi. Oh, very good pressure from Nick. Oh shoot, Itachi going crazy once again. Itachi is just so dangerous in the corner. I tell you guys, every one of my friends who's really good at this game have crazy corner combos like 40%ers, even 50%ers. I don't know how they do it. Oh shoot, brutality. And with that brutality, Itachi wins the first match. Itachi going crazy with that brutality. I wonder what Nick's gonna do differently in this match to win. Only time will tell. Round one, fight. Who's gonna get that first hit? Both players have the dive kick. No excuses. Oh, very nice enhanced meter from Nick. If you really want to confuse your opponent, that's a great way to start out a match. Because even if, uh, like if you get that first hit with the enhanced meter, you have another enhanced meter, so it's kind of back to square zero. Oh no! Nick is in the corner, he's got to get out of there! Oh, very smart from Nick not to use the enhanced spin right away. Very predictable when you put a lot of pressure on a Kung Lao, that they use that enhanced spin to get out of danger. But you can just punish that with a block. Nick didn't let that happen this time. He's so close to that first round. Oh no, he just did it right there. He needs to get that last hit, and there it is. Gets that first round. Who do you guys want to win? Man, Special Forces are going crazy in the faction war. I can't believe it. I think they won three faction wars in a row. Like, ridiculous. Like, somebody's gotta fix the servers or something. That's not possible. Nice breaker, nice breaker. Right now, Nick doesn't have much life. If I were him, I would just try to do as much damage to get meter. Itachi just didn't let that happen. Every time I think I'm gonna lose, you just gotta keep fighting. Gain meter, you know? You gotta think ahead. There'd be some matches where I'm almost dead and I kinda let myself open for an opportunity for them to do an x-ray like uh, it's hard to explain you can just like feel it and then it's like I just did my job took all their meter I have meter for the next round I have the advantage I don't know I just think always try to think ahead oh well, very very lucky Nick's grab didn't touch Sonya that would have been huge damage in the corner oh no this could be over and it is Here we are in the next match. We got DJ Sponge against Tough Gun. This should be a good match. Tough Gun's pretty good with Raiden. But you know DJ Sponge got that strategy. That shadow kick, those fireballs. Oh, these two are gonna collide. It's gonna be crazy. You followed me. You need me here. Has anyone ever agreed with that statement? Round one. Fight! <laughs> I'm very curious who's going to win this match. Both these players are pretty good. DJ Sponge in the corner. He's got to get out of there. I don't care who you're facing. If you're in the corner, you're always at a disadvantage. Oh, very nice enhanced meter. You know, if you want to see cool combos from anybody in the tournament using Raiden, definitely Tough Gun is the guy to look at. Always has some very interesting combos. Definitely knows what he's doing. DJ Sponge knows how to mix it up. Ah, oh, very nice grab. 
This is one of those situations for DJ Sponge that he has to fight for a meter now. He just gotta keep doing it. You just gotta keep fighting. I've noticed that when you have way lower health than your opponent and you start bugging them, as I say, to gain meter, when you start getting a lot of combos, they start getting nervous. They start getting nervous. They keep dropping combos. You capitalize on it, you get a comeback. That's how it happens. Oh, a very nice mix-up. You know, Raiden is just such a dangerous character. That's why I main him. He has an overhead starter, low kick starter, then he has a medium low kick starter. I mean, he's got all the tools. Definitely. Oh, shoot. Tough Gun dropping that combo. He almost had it, too. And it looks like Tough Gun's gonna win this match. Oh, Brutality, too. Raiden wins. Raiden. Welcome back, guys. Tough Gun getting that first match victory. Let's see what DJ Sponge can do in the next match. You followed me. You need me here. Has anyone ever agreed with that statement? Round one, fight. You know, this is going to be a tough matchup for DJ Sponge. Considering the strategy that he uses, you guys don't know what I mean. You know, uh, in the previous match, DJ Sponge liked the shadow kick and then throw that energy ball, but he can't do that against Tough Gun. You know that displacer variation. You can just uh, teleport. There is no uh, stalling there when you push your opponent all the way back. Oh, nice combo from Tough Gun. This Tough Gun always gets a position in the corner. Oh, you see what I'm talking about, guys? You can just teleport, unlike a lot of characters. DJ Sponge has to try something different. Round two, fight. If DJ Sponge sticks with that strategy, uh, I don't, I don't think good things are gonna happen for him right now. Got to mix it up. Oh, Tough Gun trying to use that interaction combo right there. Interaction objects do so much damage. If you can get it into a combo, oh, you're golden there. Ooh, nice combo from Tough Gun. 29%. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, DJ Sponge got to get out of there. He's stuck in the corner. Oh, it's gonna do a lot of damage right here. Very nice combo to finish up the match from Tough Gun. And he's moving on in the tournament. Welcome back guys. We got Kid Polo against Itachi. This should be a good match. Both players doing very well in the first matches. Round one. Fight. Me and my friends were joking uh, last night that they should give Jax that rap outfit. You know the one from uh, Deadly Alliance I believe? Where he has this gold chain. And then you know how they always make that trailers? Put something like uh, his line where he's like, You think you're bad? You're not bad. And then he had like has a gold chain. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Oh shoot. Itachi putting in that pressure. And just like that, he takes the first round. Round two. Fight. Dang. Kid Polo has to mix it up. He didn't do him very much damage. Oh. Oh, that zoning game is doing its work right now. Is he really gonna win the round like this? Oh crap, Itachi is in danger. And 
it looks like it's so. Oh, Itachi trying to make his comeback? I don't know, man. He has a lot of work to do. All Kid Polo has to do is just use a bar of meter. Take out that last hit. Oh, he missed it. And Itachi is coming in. Is he going to do it? I'm not sure. Oh, and it's not going to be enough. Kid Polo gets that first round. Itachi is definitely in trouble when he's far away. Very nice combo starter. And Itachi's combos are so damaging. Oh no! Kid Polo falling for the X-Ray. It's kind of funny that in MK9 Johnny Cage had that uh, same type of X-Ray. Now Sony has it. Because they're a couple. Oh shoot! Very nice brutality. Welcome back guys. Somehow Itachi made a comeback. You know, Kid Polo's rocket was doing work. And this should be a good match right here. Fight. Who wants to be in the finals? Who wants it more? Oh shoot, very close right now. I just don't want to say anything. Man, it's players like these that definitely get me excited for that last tournament. I can't wait until all the champions collide. Oh, very nice. Kid Polo's got that corner. Holy crap, he's going crazy. 30 percenter. Oh no. Out of nowhere, Itachi with that x-ray. And he's got that corner position. This could be the round. There it is. 37% just like that. Round two, fight. Who are you guys rooting for? I know a lot of you guys root for the players that use different characters. So I'm assuming a lot of you are rooting for Itachi. But uh, this Jax is doing a lot of good work in the tournament. He almost won that first match too. With that heavy weapons variation. He pretty much forced Itachi to respect that. When he's far away, he's in danger. Oh no, and that's gonna do it. Itachi is moving into the finals. Spoiler alert, you lose. Sonya wins. Finally, we are here. We are here in the finals. We got Tough Gun against Itachi Legend 27. Should be a good match. Raiden. Tough Gun doing crazy combos with Raiden. You know, I'm a Raiden main, so I love to see that. But Itachi has a Sony I've never seen before. Who knows who's going to win this match? I sense your confusion. Gonna sense my boot in your ass. Sonya Blade, I will not tolerate hostility. Round one, fight! And let it begin. Only one player can make it to the Champions Tournament and get today's tournament victory. Very nice breaker. Tachi was just getting too much damage there. Oh shoot, Tough Gun got that corner position. Can he use it to the max? Oh, and he does. Definitely got Itachi. Tachi's in trouble. What did I tell you guys? Very nice move to get out of the corner. I don't care what type of player, how many matches you have, you're stuck in the corner. You better get out of there. You're in danger. Oh, nice, nice, nice. That was pretty clutch right there. Itachi is going to have to be aware of that enhanced grab. You know, Raiden has armor when he does that. I can't tell you how many times I've used that in matches. It just catches a lot of people off guard like it caught Itachi off guard. Oh shoot, Tough Gun's in the corner. That move that Tough Gun just did, that special move, right there, it's so vulnerable. 
Like you can punish that really easily. I'm not sure why he's doing that. You know, I only try to use that after I got the first couple hits of the starting combo. But as you've seen there, it's kind of good when the opponent's in the air. It's a lot of risk. Itachi going crazy with that combo. Oh, very, very nice. Very nice enhanced torpedo. You know, Sonya is one of those characters, so powerful. Not a lot of people use her. And when you face somebody as good as Hitachi, it's hard to fight them because you don't know how you don't know how to fight Sonya. It's just kinda you have to learn in the first couple rounds. And Hitachi again with brutalities. Brutality. Trying to brutality everybody in the tournament. It all comes down to this, if Hitachi wins this match, he wins the tournament and is headed to the championships. Tough Gun needs to win this match to bring this to a match 3. It's not over yet, Tough Gun has enough skill to come back. Are you following me? Our meeting is coincidental. It's about to get violent. Round 1, fight! Here he goes. Oh, it's Tough Gun immediately. You know, he's got to put on that pressure. And you know what? I don't want to see any comments. I can beat any of these guys easily. I mean, I want to see you guys face them. I know I've seen some comments. Oh, I could have beat anybody in this tournament so easily. Man, get out of here. Oh, nice enhance from Tough Gun. When I think about all the champions facing each other, and I match them up any way I can think of, it's just like, I can't see either of them losing. It's just, they done so well. Tough Gun could be one of those champions. Itachi could be. You know, it's all up to them who's going to win the tournament. It's kind of a stalemate here. You know, Tough Gun doesn't have much life. He better be aware of Itachi's meter. If Itachi gets one enhanced move, it's over. Itachi is just one round away from tournament victory. Tough Gun's got to do something about this right now. He's got to use all the tricks, all the experience. Oh no, he's trapped in the corner. Oh, this could be game. It's not over yet, but it's going to do so much damage. And he's also got the corner. I don't even know how much damage this is going to be. Oh shoot. 45% combo. And it looks like it's over. And Itachi, again with the brutality, wins the tournament. Hope you guys enjoyed the tournament. If you want to join, add me on PSN. You know there's details in the description. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.